Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to mine Yalacoin, both on Windows and on HiveOS. I made a Yalacoin video earlier, but that was more on how to set up your own Yalacoin node. Of course, some part of the video showed you how you could mine to your own node, but in this video I'm just going to show you how you can mine uh, Yada coin on a public pool, both on Windows and on HiveOS. The first thing you want to do is to go to yadacoin.io. On this uh, web page here, you go to Docs on your right side uh, of the page. You go, you, you go down to How to join a pool. You go into that web page. Uh, now you get two options here, either you can download the XMRIG CC or the SRB Miner Multi. In our setup we are going to use XMRIG CC. So we hit Windows, the, the files are being downloaded. When you have downloaded the files you get a zip file. Uh, you don't need additional software to open this if you have Windows 8, 10 and 11. Uh, so you, ju you just uh, right click it and extract all the files uh, at the current location. When you have done that you get a Windows like window like this. Now you right click uh, the config.json file. Now I'm using Visual Studio Code. You do, uh, if you don't have it or you're not fami familiar with it, uh, just open your file in Notepad. The first thing you want to do is to scroll down to this section here. Uh, the only thing you need to change actually is the pool you want to mine to and your wallet address. Now in this example we're going to change the, uh, the pool address to my local node. In this case it will be 192.168.1.105 and the port number 3350. Now you can't mine to this address, but you can put any uh, public mining address in there that supports Yadacoin. The next one will be my uh, or your wallet address. Uh, I'm not going to paste my wallet address here now. I have my uh, ready to paste it in, but you get your wallet address, you paste it in, you 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 save the document and I'm going to show you how to start mining. Now when you've done all the other things you right click xmrigdemon.exe you run it as an administrator. Now you will get this blue message at first time you run this. Now you hit more info and run anyway. And then you will get uh, a control message if you want to start the application from an unknown de uh, developer or whatever you hit yes and you should get a window like window like this and now you see it's already started it find my threads on my CPU now I'm using I'm using a Intel CPU this is my workstation so uh, don't worry about that I'm not mining with Intel CPUs I'm mining with uh, AMD CPUs but in this case and since this is a working station you see uh, this is for just testing an example now let's see if we get some hash rates up okay guys we got some hash rates since this is a CPU from Intel the hash rate is pretty low uh, anyway this is how you can mine Yada coin on Windows. Now let's jump into Hive of Us and see what results we get there. Okay guys, now we're back in Hive of Us. Uh, you select a CPU setup that you already have prepared or are preparing. In my case I'm going to select this one. I go into flight sheet, I'm going to I already have a setup but I'm going to show you how you can do it when you want to set up a new flight sheet. You select flight sheet, in coin ticker you write the EDA 
and you get the other coin here. You so, uh, if you don't have added the other your other coin wallet, you just right click. Uh, you just click on add wallet on the right side here. I have already set up my wallet, so I just scroll down and I find it here. Uh, since there are no supporting pools on HiveOS, you will just get the option configure in Miner. You select that one. You on Miner selection, you scroll down to find XM Rig, and you're going to choose the XM Rig old version. You, then you're going to hit Setup Miner Config. Uh, and a uh, wallet and worker template, you just choose the top one here. Pool URL, in our case, we are going to use my local server 192 168 1 105 and then the port number. Pass and CPU threads, you don't need to do anything, but in config override, you need to set the donation level. In this case, it will be this setting. Now, in Miner Fork, this is the important thing. In Miner Fork, you're going to you hit that tab, or drop down menu, sorry, and you're going to select XM Rig CC. Apply all changes. Now, you can name this flight sheet whatever you want, or you can leave it blank. But in my case, since I already have another flight sheet for Yadacoin, I'm going to call this one for local node. Create flight sheet. Now we need just need to go back to our workers, into our selected worker, go to the flight sheet section, and just hit the deploy button. You see we have the local node, hit deploy, and see what we're getting. As you can see here, it find all the threads and the right algorithm. That means it have connected to the my local node. Now let's hope that uh, it starts mining, and as you can see, it had, it have started mining. Now don't care about this hash rate because uh, it will be higher later. I have to change the memory sticks on my uh, CPU setup on that rig. So, but anyway, 68 degrees, 7.3 kilohertz. And I'm mining to my own local node. Now, in the URL section on your flight sheet, you can put in whatever pool you want. In this case, I just wanted to use my local node pool address. So, this is how you can mine uh, Yadacoin on both Windows and through HiveOS. Before we round up this video, I just want to let you know that the hurricanepool.com is happening. The first coin out will be the Yada coin. It will be mineable through one of our servers. Uh, at first, this will be a European pool. Uh, we will see, based on response and uh, how the co community react, maybe we also open servers in other uh, regions. Uh, if you want to get the latest updates on when this is happening, uh, follow the onlyhurricane.com or follow this channel. If you have any comments, uh, comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And thank you for watching and I see you next time. Have a nice day.